Six Ages Gaming is brought to you by GamersGauntlet.net. Check them out for all your singles, sealed product, and play mats. Hey guys, welcome to another Six Sages Gaming Deck Spotlight brought to you by GamersGauntlet.net and Ultimate Guard. Today I have for you another A4 deck. This is the blue version of the machine deck or blue machines. No fancy name, just blue robots. So this deck is a little bit different than the green Machina deck that we've seen in the past. It's not really a all-in combo deck. This is more of your, I'm going to be playing some dudes, get some early beats in, and then hopefully finish off with a March the Machine Lord to get in the extra damage. So this deck has a lot of new cards from A4 that make it possible, and there's a lot of exciting themes that play uh, off each other in this deck. So first we'll talk about the ruler, then talk about the stone base, and then talk about the main deck itself. So up first we have Moria of the Seven Lands, uh, Judgment cost of four, obviously nothing too exciting on this side, so we'll just get right into the Machina side himself. That was kind of their theme for A4, is all the rulers have the same ruler side and different J ruler size. So uh, first and foremost, he does gain the name of the old Machina, which will be relevant for stuff like Mary Bell Regalia, which you'll see a little bit later. Um, if you play the Research Memoria Stone, if you have one man play, you get to search your deck for seven total costs or less. So you can grab something like a remote controlled beast and a TikTok automaton, which is probably going to be your two best targets, depending on what you're going up against, or just double TikTok. They don't have to be different. Or if you have all four out, which almost never happens, but maybe there's some some world where you're going very long game, or you just see all four early and you're super lucky, then you get a total cost of 12 and or up to cost of 12, which can be absolutely insane value with the things that you can grab out of your deck. Uh, last but not least, and I think a lot of people either forgot about or don't give enough credit, but he also gets plus 200, plus 200 for each machine. Now that's super relevant because, the again, the core of your deck is going to be all machines, so he's going to be a very powerful J ruler that, uh, of course, with him having to deal with your March and all the other resonators that are also going to be beefed up, we could just play Machina, who's going to be you know a 16, 16, or something huge by himself. He has He's going to have Swiftness because Demon Sword, and he can get through with a lot of damage, so that's definitely not something to uh, write off. Going into the stone base, super easy. Four of those Memoria Stones I was just talking about, Aloof Research with Memoria, um, affectionately named Loot House after an MTG card, uh, Desolate Lighthouse, which had a very similar effect. It allows you to draw a card and discard a card. So if we ever have Open Will available for whatever reason and we have one of these in play, it's just great to help us filter through our deck. Maybe we need to find uh, Mary Bella's work quicker, we need to find a March, something of that nature. It allows us to really churn through our deck. And of course, it taps for water, so that works with uh, the cards that we're going to be playing as uh, supports for this deck. And then, last but not least, just to round it out, we just have six water stones. Nothing too fancy. Uh, once Vingolf hits, and we have the dual stones plus whatever might be coming uh, in Vingolf, then we're going to be going to more of a uh, wind water build. But for now, it's just straight mono water. Going to the main deck itself, starting off with Regalia, uh, we have two Demon Sword. Now, this one is super important. Based on the way cloud effects work in this game, you can do things like play March in your hand, attack with your TikTok. Sack the TikTok to, uh, to Demon Sword. Search your deck for a two drop. That's also going to get Swiftness and a plus 300, plus 300 buff. So if you're really getting to live the dream, you get to go TikTok into Robox into a one drop. Uh, and then all three of those would get to attack. So you're being able to combo out your opponent with all these value resonators that are going to be able to keep attacking, attacking, attacking. And eventually they're just going to run out of blockers. And plus it gives our uh, J Ruler Swiftness, which as I mentioned can be super relevant. Two Mary Bell Regalia. Again, because our J Ruler gains the name, we can activate it for reduced cost. And on top of that, uh, who I affectionately call Small Mary Bell, or uh, Mary Bell Assistant, she can also help pay the cost, where you're going to be able to get a very cheap 1,000, 1,000 plus, you know, swiftness attacker thanks to March the Machine Lord. So that's another uh, great thing to be looking out for. Moving on to the one drops, which I will admit the deck is very, very light in, but it's a very, very hard to find room for everything in this deck. Uh, four Clockwork Soldiers. This is really just great for, uh, again, to play on one drop. It has target attack, which I think a lot of people forget about, but also because it has the ability to pump itself, or what's known as fire breathing. So if you, you know, draw a late game, that's perfectly fine as well, because if you go into a board state where it's either uncontested or they're not able to answer it, you can just dump all of your will into it and hit them for, you know, approximately infinite damage. So this is great at any point in the game, and should also just, you know, it's a great snap uh, four of in the deck. Moving into our two drops, where we start to see more of the uh, techie choices. We have one Mechanical City. Uh, because it is a machine, it can be hit off of Automaton, uh, which is super relevant, but we don't ever want to hit it early. So this is one of those things where we're able to combo through our deck, or we have a couple things that will let us draw, and it counts towards the machine count. Uh, being able to give our guys plus 200, plus 200 is just great. 
And again, there's going to be some situations where you're able to steal flying and give your best resonator flying uh, from one of your opponent's res resonators, and they just might not see it coming. So it's a very uh, utility-based card that's been great. So as I mentioned, small Mirabelle. Um, great is a two-drop, but her real value is when she goes from field to graveyard, and you get to search your deck up for one of the other two Mirabelles, uh, either the Regalia or the five-drop. And then you can banish her from your graveyard to get additional effects. Now, this is one of those cards that, again, it hits off TikTok, you know, so that's great. It also counts as a machine, so it works with the machine count. There's just a lot of things that this uh, card is going to do in the deck, and you really don't get to see it in action until you start playing the deck and realizing all the interactions that it has. Speaking of interactions and two drops that get two drops back, um, we have this, which allows us to get back Robox. We have Mary Bell. Uh, Lab is just a great card. Uh, in general. Again, it's only a 2 of because we don't ever really want to see it off TikTok, but we do want to see it at some point in the game. Because again, if you get to live the dream, you either get to put Robox in a play off this, or you get to play Mary Bell in a play off this, and generate even more value. And again, because it counts for a machine, it makes things like your March cheaper, your Mary Bell's work cheaper, and all that. So the card does add a lot of value to the deck. And plus, it's an addition, so it's hard to remove as is, as not a lot of people are playing uh, really strong addition removal because it's tied to one color. Uh, this should be no surprise, uh, 4 of Robux. Uh, card's great, allows us to find our Clockwork Soldiers. And again, it's just a resonator that your opponent has to deal with because uh, it helps your machine count and it'll let you get another guy once he is dealt with. Obviously, 200, 600 stats really aren't that great uh, from an aggressive standpoint, so it might be a little bit lackluster that way. But again, you're really just trying to get bodies on the board to uh, accelerate the plan of your deck. And then personally, my favorite card of the deck, and probably one of my favorite cards in the set, uh, Engineer. Again, 2-drop, 4-4, four, four, might not be that great. Uh, reduces the cost of your uh, spells with no attributes by 1. Might not seem... I mean, obviously that seems like a pretty good effect, but you don't really realize how strong it is until you play this on 2, get to untap with it, and just get to vomit your hand on turn 3 in some situations. So... If you get to live the dream, like turn one, uh, clockwork, turn two, this, turn three, just stuff in your hand and play out all these machines, it's going to feel pretty great. So this is, again, hands down, one of my favorite cards in the deck. This is what really brings me to the blue version, and I always want to be playing four of these just because of how it can accelerate the deck for you. Again, it's probably going to you know, remove a spell more often than not, but that's fine because it's supposed to be, it's a very, very powerful card that your, your opponent doesn't want to have on the board. Uh, three Dark Machina, because he lets us two drop our marches, or our Mary Bella works. Um, so important to note, this is the one card, for whatever reason, is not a machine, so it doesn't work with the main theme of the deck, but it is still something that's going to get buffed by March. It is something that's a 400 400, so it can be a 7 7 or even a 10 10 really quick, and it lets you two drop what pieces you're missing. So it's something that should probably be a two or three of. We're doing a three of in this version of it. Probably needs a little bit more testing, but. The ability to look for the cards that you really want is just a very strong effect that you shouldn't overlook. Now, the real uh, all-star of the deck for the 3-drop slot is TikTok Automaton. Again, 400-800 might not be uh, the most powerful stats or what you'd really be expecting. Uh, the 800 defense is very, very nice, though, I will say that. But, and again, when it dies, it gets replaced itself, and then if you saw all the 2-drops, it basically can grab any single one of those and allows you to get more value. So there's... The reason why I like to play Lab is because in the, the mid to late game, you can get to really live the dream by playing this, hitting the Lab, getting something else back to the Lab, and then you have two machines in play that you got out of just the one. So it makes, again, makes your Mary Bells work and makes your March marches a lot cheaper. And that's something that you really is the, the core of the deck and something you really need to make sure you're focused on when you're trying to think about your uh, future turns. The only four drop in the deck, which isn't really a four drop, uh, Remote Controlled Beast. 800-800, uh, amazing stats, cost one less uh, for each machine, and again, if you're playing an Engineer, it's automatically a 3-drop, so if you have, uh, you know, three other uh, Void, or four other machines, three other machines in play, he comes in for free, and there's going to be some turns where you just get to live the dream and play two of these for free and then march, and again, he also helps reduce the count of Mary Bell's work, so getting the combo off to play this for free, then to play work for free in the same turn and get to refill your hand, uh, is just a very, very strong part of this deck. Speaking of, uh, four of work. Again, refilling your hand is very, very important in this type of deck, and more often than not, this card's either going to be one cost or free, 
So at any, I think any time you tell someone, hey, you get to play this card and draw two cards for free, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be on board for it. So it's a very strong card and something that you snap want to play a four of uh, in your machine decks. Uh, getting the last few cards, three March of the Machine Lord. Uh, one of those things that you, you want to tutor for it, but you also want to naturally draw into at least one of them. So ideally you want to draw into one of them and tutor for the other, which is why we play three of the uh, Dark Machinas, of course, with being able to get any other cards uh, that we might want. And again, just giving your entire team plus three, plus three, and swiftness and the interaction between this and TikTok, Robox cards, um, and Demon Sword is just absolutely insane. And that will win you a ton of games as well. Lastly, just as a spicy one of, and because we can tutor for it, uh, we have the Big Mary Bell, so Small Mary Bell and Big Mary Bell. Um, this card's great, it's just a 12-12 body. Again, we can use Small Mary Bell from the graveyard to play its effects. And the card really just does a lot in terms of, if we really need it, it can, we can tutor it out, we can uh, dump a bunch of extra will into it and make it huge, maybe give it flying if we need to, things of that nature, and punch through for that last little bit of damage. Again, Heavy Pierce is also just a super, super great thing to have. So that is the deck in a nutshell, guys. Uh, again, I think this is just a very strong deck to play that a lot of people uh, are either excited for because they already know, ro know and love robots or they love the theme of the deck, but I think it's something that could definitely see play, uh, and I think we'll hopefully get more, even more support out of Vingolf, be it the, just adding the dual stones or other effects that we're going to be getting. So let us know what you guys thought about the deck. Make sure to comment down below what changes you would make, what other things that you would like to see, what do you think we're going to get out of the Vingolf set. Will we get even more machines because it is based off the Valkyrie Chronicles? I mean, that's another thing that we should consider because they're going to have tanks and it's a very steampunky kind of a design. So. We, get, we might get, get even more machines, which I'd be really, really excited about. So again, thanks to GamersGauntlet.net and Ultimate Guard for all of the support. Again, thank you to for you guys for all the subscribers and all the support you've given to our channel. If you haven't already, the uh, 5,000 giveaway subscriber giveaway is on its last few days, so make sure you sign up for that. And again, thank you very much for guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next Six Sages Gaming Deck Spotlight. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment with what you thought of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Six Age Gaming and check out some of the deck spotlights, dual series, and force of community videos that are already on the channel. We also have a Facebook and a Twitter, so feel free to find us there. Lastly, if you have a deck that you would like featured in a video, be sure to drop us a comment below. Until next time, take it easy.